Hello, middle schoolers. This is your librarian, Miss Martin, and I've made this video to provide you with the resources for the Daughters of the American Revolution Annual Essay Contest. Um, the Daughters of the American Revolution are otherwise known as the D-A-R. And this document that you see before you is a Pathfinder. And a Pathfinder is a curated list of reviewed and approved sources on a topic. They are great tools to help you dive into research right away. Um, all the research is done for you and you only get the best resources provided. The theme of this year's DAR contest or essay contest is the tomb of the unknown soldier located in Arlington National Cemetery in Washington, DC. Your task, if you choose to participate in this year's essay contest, is to imagine yourself as a family member who lost someone on the battlefields of France during World War I. You could be a brother, um, a sibling that lost their brother. You could be a wife that lost her husband, a mother that lost her son. Just envision yourself as somebody who had lost a loved one. In addition to losing that loved one to the war, your loved ones, their remains, were never brought back to the U.S. Um, and many times that's because some of them were unrecognizable due to injuries incurred during the battle. So instead, um, the remains were left in mass graves in the country of France. That is until the United States created the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Memorial. And while I give you a little bit more detail um, on the essay, I'm going to play this video in the background. Um, this shows the body of the first unknown from World War I coming from France, landing here in Washington, D.C., being removed from the ship and being um, led to the ceremony where it will begin. As you're watching this, reflect on these questions um, and that will help you come up with content for your essay, okay? We want you in the essay to think about how the creation of this tomb and this ceremony make you feel knowing that you lost a loved one. And perhaps that unknown uh, soldier in that casket is your loved one. Reflect on the importance of remembering those soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice and that sacrifice is they gave their lives to serve and protect our nation. Does the tomb of the unknown soldier and the ceremony of the burial of one of our unknowns bring you peace? Does it provide you comfort? Does it satisfy you to have a place to visit and grieve for your loss? Can you imagine that that soldier's body entombed is actually your loved one? What does the tomb of the unknown soldier mean to you as a family member who lost a loved one? And what should it mean to our country and its citizens? The resources provided in this Pathfinder will educate you on the history of how the tomb of the unknown soldier came to be in our country. You will learn about the people who proposed the creation of the tomb and why they felt it critically important to build and honor our fallen soldiers. You will learn how the tomb of the unknown is protected, um, what the public thought about its creation, and see um, this original U.S. Army silent film showing the transportation of the first unknown from France to Washington, D.C. I'm going to go ahead and pause that now and then get back to our Pathfinder. Okay, The Pathfinder is divided into four sections, primary sources, books, websites, and videos. I'm going to give you a quick overview of each. Primary sources, we're going to start with right here. Those are the most direct evidence of a time or event because they are firsthand accounts of people who are physically there at that time or event. The first resource, all you need to do is click on the image. It is hyperlinked to the resource. It's provided by the Library of Congress. I'm gonna scroll down. And it contains the actual speech given at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Ceremony by then President Warren Harding on November 11th, 1921. If you think about that date for a second, you'll probably realize 1921, and we're in the year 2021, that means the, the 100th anniversary of the ceremony of the first unknown um, being buried at Arlington National Cemetery is quickly approaching um, right now. That'll be November 11th, 2021. If I were to scroll down a little bit more, you will start to see the speech. Okay. I'm gonna go to the second resource right here. Simply click on the image. The second uh, primary resource document is the actual ceremonial program for that day. It shows the order of the events planned for that day along with the times that each event was scheduled. It will also provide you the names of people who spoke at the ceremony, hymns that were sung during the ceremony, and the actual names of choir members who performed at the ceremony. 
So a pretty interesting, interesting read. The third primary resource is from a newspaper article published by the New York Tribune just a few days before the ceremony took place. This was published November 6th, 1921. The ceremony took place November 11th, 1921. Um, this will give you an idea of how the public felt about the significance of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And all you need to do to read it is just take your cursor and click on the text and it will automatically enlarge. If you click and hold your mouse down, you can move the page so you can read all of the columns of text. And then finally, right here, um, the last primary resource um, will give you journal entries and letters between World War I soldiers and their families. I put this in there to give you an idea of what life was like. Um, not only for the soldiers that were risking their lives for our country, but also um, the sacrifices that their families made while they were away. Moving on to ebooks, there are three. The first one right here actually is provided by Hoopla. So if you click the cover of that book, it's going to open up Hoopla. You will have to log in. If you do not have an account, please make one. I would suggest you use your gross point. Uh, email address, that's that 1500 number at jpschools.org, and your gross point password. Um, when you do, type in the title of the book, and then you'll see it uh, listed. Click the button that says borrow, it's a blue button that says borrow, in order to check out the book. Once it's been checked out, and by the way, multiple people can check it out at the same time, so don't worry about that. But once it's checked out, come to My Hoopla, come down to Currently Borrowed, and you will see the book. All you need to do is click on it, give it a second to load, and you'll be able to go page to page to page and learn more about Arlington National Cemetery and the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in this particular book. Arrows are to the right and left to allow you to move from page to page. The second book is also hyperlinked to the EBSCO K8 ebook collection. Um, when you load the book, it's only gonna show the top half of the cover, so come down to the bottom right and choose the button that says fit page, and that'll make the whole book appear. Um, you could hit the arrows in the bottom to move page to page, but I just tend to scroll down and read the book that way. But another great resource on Arlington National Cemetery and the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The third book is really just the first chapter of a book, and the book is called The Last Salute, Civil and Military Funerals. This resource helps you better understand the issues the U.S. government experienced with death of its soldiers and how the government dealt with those issues to honor our fallen soldiers. Coming back, we're going to jump to websites. The very first website listed here is the Arlington National Cemetery website, which contains many facts and historical information on the tomb of the unknown soldier. That's a must-visit website. The second website is from the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, and um, this will provide information on the history of Veterans Day, when it began um, on November 11th. And by the way, we celebrate Veterans Day every November 11th, um, and you'll find out why in this website. The third website, a must, must, must visit, is the Arlington National Cemetery History Education Series. Um, it's actually a PDF document. And it's all about the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. It's 44 pages. Um, if you just simply scroll, you will see that this resource um, takes you uh, to all kinds of information about the World War I unknown, how the tomb is protected, how the tomb was designed and constructed, who are world, the World War II and the World War, uh, not sorry, World War um, the World War II and the Korean unknowns that are also buried at um, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. There's also a Vietnam unknown buried in the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. You'll learn more about um, the guards that are guarding the tomb and um, suggestions on how to get the most out of your visit if you were to ever find yourself in D.C. And if you are in D.C., this is a must go to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The fourth website right here provides information from the Arlington National Cemetery walking tour. This is an actual walking tour. Um, you get this pamphlet when you arrive and that just kind of gives you a map, gives you places to stop at the cemetery where famous people are buried at Arlington, where their graves are, as well as describes the history and meaning of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. There's also an interesting page here about um, the mother 
of the unknown soldier tree, so like an honorary tree um, put in the cemetery as well. The fifth website right here uh, describes how mothers were involved and impacted by World War I. It discusses the creation of the Gold Star to honor fallen soldiers and the sacrifice made by their families. The Gold Star is still in use today. As I scroll down, you're gonna see the Gold Star pin back from the day when it was created. And Gold Stars were given to mothers to memorialize their children that were lost in war. And they might have had more than one child lost in the war. Um, you may have heard of the Gold Star families in the news recently. I know that I recall hearing about them just about a month ago as Gold Star families um, reached out to the family members of the 13 U.S. soldiers that were uh, recently killed in Afghanistan. Um, so their families and their uh, so children were honored with this Gold Star. And then finally, this last website is titled Bereavement and Mourning, and it explains the ways that the United States mourned and remembered its sacrifices in Europe following the Great War. And last but not least, our videos. So we have one, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the first one. Again, they're all hyperlinked. So uh, this video segment is really what I suggest you watch first um, because it really gives you a good visual and a good background um, foundation to start with your research. It's about 28 minutes long. And this is the actual, or will show the actual 1921 silent US Army film. Um, as it is being documented, um, documenting the journey of the remains of the World War I unknown soldier from France to the tomb of the unknown soldier in Washington. And it's narrated by two experts in World War I history. So I think it's a definite must see. And here you see a host and the two World War I history experts. And they're going to actually comment while they're all watching the video, which is I found to be very helpful and interesting. And these two videos actually go together. This is part one and this is part two. I'll just start one of them. Um, these are much, much longer. I'm going to wait for it to load. I'm going to go to the beginning. Okay. Here you see a gentleman introducing. He's the archivist of the United States. So again, this is part one and part two of a video that's called Here Rests in Glory, National Archives records records related to Arlington National Cemetery and the tomb of the unknown soldier. Um, as I said, these videos are uh, longer, they're about an hour, but they really do provide uh, so much detail and commentary from other historical archivists. Um, and historical archivists, ladies and gents, they're history keepers. Um, and here you see four historical archivists, or hopefully you will, that um, will be commenting on um, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. You're going to see some primary source documents um, involving the cemetery, the design, um, you know, where the land came from, blueprints, all sorts of firsthand documents involving the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And that concludes all of the resources in this Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Pathfinder. I hope that you found them interesting and informative because I certainly did. Um, best of luck to those students that are joining the contest. I really encourage all of you to join the contest. It's a fascinating topic to learn about. Um, I think time will just fly as you watch these videos, visit these sites and uh, explore these primary source documents. And um, based on the knowledge that you learn, you can pretend um, that you were somebody that was impacted with the loss of a loved one in World War I. And try writing the essay. You never know, you could very well win. Either way, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you get a moment to check out the resources. Best of luck to you if you are writing in the essay. Take care. Ms. Martin, out.